a bit high of it. Okay, we'll just have to deal with that. Good morning, guys. So, this morning I decided it's the 10th of September. It is springtime in South Africa. Let's come and fish. And as you can see, this is the pond behind me. So, it's morning. I'm going to try and get to see if the bass are still. I think they're still spawning. I'm not completely sure. But it's like 10 past 6 in the morning. Now, I'm going to try and catch some fish. Hopefully, I catch one because otherwise, this video is going to be total ass. But anyway, we'll see what happens. I've got tied on uh, on my ooh, 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 the roof on my medium heavy seven foot rod. I've got a popping frog on tied on for this morning. Just want to see if they're not on the top water bite. Uh, let me just get the, my spinning rod has now been tangled, gotten tangled up in all my other rods. I've got three rods this morning though on my other seven foot medium rod. I've got a red lipless crankbait tied on for those reaction strikes. And on my spinning reel, I've got a shake gear tied on with a watermelon watermelon seed, well, watermelon candy, uh, trick worm or finesse worm on there rather, for if I find any bass sitting on nests or stuff that'll just chuck it in there, irritate them till they bite. Hopefully I'll get, um, I'll get a bite today. I don't know. I haven't fished yet uh, since last summer. So I don't know how the bite's going to be. But let me get you guys on my chesty. And then we'll see if we can go catch one. First cast of the season. Guys, there's a bass sitting right here. Let me get, see if I can't get him to take this. There you go now. There was a bass sitting right here. I think I spooked him now. No, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Take it, please take it. Break out the shaky head. I just need to be quiet because I'm scared. I'm spook. I'm gonna spook him if I speak too loudly. See if I can't catch him using this. I got one. Yes, I got him. Oops, yeah, boy. Oh no! Damn it. Spat the hook. No, come on, I had him. At least, at least you guys saw him in film. At least I was recording. Just gonna approach very slowly. Make sure I don't spook anything here. Okay, now. I can see the rocks and stuff here right next to me. Oh, got a bite. Oh, please tell me he's still on. Yeah, yes. There is a small one. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Yeah, boy. There we go. Right in the roof of the mouth. Well, it's a small one, it's a small one, but it's a start. I think he's about like a 200 grammer. Return to the waters, boy. There you go. It's anyway, a small bass. A small one. Yeah, I got one. Skiing him over the top. <clears throat> this one literally didn't take it very hard. Yeah, I'm recording. 
he didn't take it very hard still again a small one looks like he's all kind of well fed still. so second one for the day still a small one still in search of that nice at least a kilogram maybe four pounder but a fish is a fish that one was didn't take it very aggressive at all didn't know it was on there oh oh shit i think i'm gonna get stuck now it's a good but a bad cost if you know what i mean oh i think i got stuck now oh, get off the reed get off that reed come on please i have faith there we go no. i've changed spots again i've been fishing that whole bank over th that whole bank over there now i'm gonna fish this island well not the island like i'm gonna throw a cross over there i'm gonna fish here all across here my car is way over there so i'm just walking around the pond now this is the deeper side of the pond so we'll see if the fish are sitting here i'm assuming this all stacked up on that flat over there where i started but it's hey it's worth giving it a try the only problem about the spot so wait, let me just get in position it's casting because there's base there's trees everywhere another one of bob's friends Pulling dry, guys. Okay, so I think this worm is toast. I only, I only just hit myself in the face with my rod. This worm is toast because it keeps on. I keep putting it there and it's like that, but the moment it hits something, it just exposes the hook. The wind is. Oh. Oh. There was one that literally nibbled on it yeah so let me see if i can't catch him again or catch him now monofilament line throwing it so far is the sensitivity of it diminishes so much and this rod i'm using yeah yes i did step off the tip like four years ago and that's how old this rod is. Yes. Yes, I got it. Come here, come here, come here, come here. You little, little crazy bass. This is really like, uh, this is pushing the scales upwards of three pounds, guys. Oh, my soul. Wait, now I've got the fishing rod and the bass in the same hand. My left hand's very stupid. Pushing the scales at three pounds. This little bugger has been the previous one that I missed. At least I know they're so aggressive they'll come take it twice. Look at it. Anyway, back he goes. Three, three, three very, very small. Well, this one was very small. I mean, very small. But three bass nonetheless. And this worm is toast. Let me put on a new worm and get back in there. The juice. This is how I'm rigging it up here. Let me just make sure it's in front of the camera. I'm literally. You don't really get shake yets that often in SA. So these I bought. These were the shake yets I bought in America and New York the other day when we were there. I knew they were going to prove results because the bass here don't see them or haven't seen them before in their life. This is normally where I screw it up really badly. There you go. And that, my friends, is what has been catching me all the fish today. Looks absolutely scrumdily umptious. Let me just get back to fishing, stop speaking to myself. Change spots again. I'm now in between, in a, in a little pocket of reeds. Hopefully there are a couple of spawning bass sitting in here. That will be the ideal. Nope. Oop, that. Oh. Okay, well that failed. That failed. I got broke. Clean off. Gonna go 
put everything back in the car and then I'll see you guys when we're home. So we made it back to the house now. I packed everything away, just and for, almost forgot to do my outro. But we move back now. I'm sitting with my dog. He's smelling the bass on my hands, so he came searching for me. <laughs> at least I caught three fish, guys. Today I got three fish. They were small fish, though, but at least they're three. So it's a good start to the season. There are a lot more fishing videos going to come out soon because I can go fishing more often now. It is summer or spring, rather. It's 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 spring at the moment. So the bass are more active than in the winter so sorry for the winter drought it is well i'm not going to start fishing more often now first of october i'm going on a tiger fishing trip with a bunch of my friends so hopefully those will make good videos but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video this is all for me for today i have to get back to my studying i'm writing a test tomorrow so this is all for me i'm signing out i hope to see you guys when i'm fishing again i'm kidding i'm not going to do that because every youtuber does that wait let me try something new instead of punching gonna I'm gonna throw you guys over okay one two three I think that worked <laughs>